Hi everybody, thanks for tuning to another video. Um, as some of you might have seen, I've just uh, received my Xbox Series X and I've completed an unboxing video. So I've just uploaded that uh, and I've now connected up the Xbox. It's ready to go. I haven't yet powered it on, but I'm just about to hit the power button. And I wanted to share the experience with you guys for turning this uh, console on for the first time, just so you can see exactly what it is like to power it on. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I've got the sources up. Uh, it's connected to HDMI 4 I believe and I'm just turning on the power now on the Xbox for the first time You can see down there in the corner below the Xbox lights come on. That's where the Xbox is currently sitting It's eventually going to go and sit behind my TV Oh, so there we go. It's detected the games console. It hasn't bought up the name And this is it. So this is the first thing you see when you turn on the Xbox Series in X, Series X. You see the Xbox logo. Um, wonder what's going to come next. So let it warm up. Right, there we go. Straight into some settings, I suppose. It's going to be a process of signing in. Um, set up the Xbox app. I'm going to skip this for now and just go through the standard sort of process using the controller. As I haven't installed the app, well I have got the app installed but I'm not going to go through that on my phone right now because I'm actually using my phone to record this. So we'll just go through the setup normally. Um, your network is connected, great, I've just got network cable connected into it for now. Um, so let's proceed. Right, first thing it's going to do is update, so I'm just going to uh, start the update. Um, hopefully that won't take too long. Um, are we seeing any download speeds? No, it's downloading. I'm going to pause this video while the update is downloading. And uh, as soon as it's finished downloading, I will uh, resume the video. So that's just finished um, downloading and doing some verification. I think it's going to be restarting the console now. You can see the light blinking in the bottom right hand corner of this video. That's the Xbox power light flashing. Um, and it's just restarting now, so hopefully we're going to get a bit further. Uh, I will not pause the video just in case we miss anything. I don't want you to miss anything. But it definitely looks like it's powered off now. Um, the TV is just looking for a signal. The light is back on again, and it looks like it's resuming the update process. So I'm going to pause the video again. Uh, if there's any changes, I will uh, resume and then we'll progress with the initial startup of the Xbox. So if it's just, uh, it looks like it's either updating or updated. It's just asked me to turn the controller on. So I've just turned the controller on. It's very dark in the room. I've got the lights down so you can see the TV without too much contrasting issues. I press the A button. It's gonna update the controller now. So that's good, it's updating the controller. Um, I'm guessing it's probably downloaded the update as part of the main updates to the console so it's not giving you a message that it's downloading you can see the light there on the controller flashing away this is actually the controller that came with the uh, Xbox Series X I'm not using the old Xbox controller at the moment even though I believe they are compatible um, so it's just applying an update to the controller now I'm going to pause the video and let it resume updating and once it's uh, completed I will uh, resume the video again Right, so we're getting to the end of the controller update now. It's finished updating the controller successfully So I'm going to go ahead and hit next um, And then I'll be signing into my Microsoft account. So I'm going to pause the video right here um, Just after it starts the sign-in process um, and I'll resume as soon as I've completed sign-in Right, so I've uh, successfully signed in to my account um, and you can see my gamer tag there at the top, T to the bone. Uh, please feel free to add me um, if you're on Xbox, Xbox Live. I'll be more than happy to accept your friends requests. Um, I am going to just skip through all of this uh, setup just so we can get to the actual um, console dashboard and see for the first time together. What it actually looks like so let's skip through all of this um, hmm. so this is interesting so it's saying it's found the system setting the preferences from my last xbox so that would be the xbox one x 
Um, these are different than the ones we collected in the Xbox app. You can change them later. Do you want to apply them now? So I'm going to do apply settings. Um, do you want to sign in? Use instant sign in. Link controller. So yeah, how do you want to sign in? So use instant sign on to be ready to play as soon as this Xbox is turned on. Only one person can use instant sign in. So let's use instant sign in because I'm the main user of the console and this will be linked directly to my account. Um, when I turn on the console using this controller, I'll be signed in directly. Um, I'm not going to join Xbox Game Pass right now. Though, interesting fact, um, when I bought the console, what I didn't know was I was going to be eligible for a discount code. So I have got an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate code, which is uh, going to give me, I think, 10 or £15 pound off the three months bundle. Um, so I'm going to be purchasing that at some point in the near future. Um, it's worth checking out what's on there. I've not, not signed up to Xbox Game Pass before. So find the best settings for your TV. Now this is going to be interesting. So um, just in case you're wondering, the TV does look a bit large. It is a 75 inch Samsung uh, TV. It's the Q series um, and it's the QE75 Q9FN is a specific model. So this was a flagship in 2018, I believe. And it, I believe it was released around the time that the HDMI 2.1 specification was being validated. So it is supposed to unofficially support HDMI 2.1. Whether it does or not, I don't know. But we're going to be able to find out now whether or not it supports 4K at 60 uh, frames per second or hopefully higher. Hopefully we can get to 120 frames per second using um, 4K HDMI uh, over HDMI 2.1. 4K at 120 hertz is going to be interesting to see. So that's it. We're in. We're on the dashboard. This looks exactly the same as my Xbox One X. That's my first view. Um, I'm going to go straight into settings because I want to see what display settings it's applied out of the box. So let's have a look at the display settings. Um, so I'm going to go to uh, general and TV and display options. And we can say we're getting 4K at 120 hertz. Is that going to work? Yes, it is. Fantastic. We are getting, oh no, it's switched the resolution to 1080p, so there we go. So I'm only able to get 4K at 50, uh, 60 frames per second. So I'm guessing that's going to be a limitation on the TV. Uh, I am going to try different TV modes to see, uh, sorry, different HDMI ports to see if it supports 4K Ultra HD 120 hertz. Um, but there you have it. I unfortunately on this flagship model of 2018 and I'm, I'm unable to achieve 4k 120 Hertz which is a bit of a letdown I will be trying other HDMI ports maybe there's only certain ports on there that support um, HDMI 2.1 uh, I will definitely be trying another HDMI cable although the one that came with the console should be capable because it is labeled as an ultra HD uh, ultra speed HDMI cable um, and I definitely believe they are bundling 2.1 cables in the box. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what I can do. But I do think this is unfortunately a limitation of my TV. Quite surprisingly, um, because it is a very expensive TV from 2018. Um, but as I said, HDMI 2.1 was just around the corner. And it may just be that um, it just missed the boat with the HDMI 2.1 interfaces bit of a shame but nonetheless I'm sure I'm going to enjoy gaming on this console all the same. So I have actually purchased uh, a game. You're going to be wondering what am I going to play on this? What am I going to play first on my Xbox Series X? I'd be interested to find out what you played first on your console when you got it set up. Um, I uh, have purchased Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I'm just going to turn the bright brightness up a little bit of the lights in the room just so I can show you that. I have purchased Assassin's Creed Valhalla from Amazon and this is the limited edition from Amazon so it says limited edition um, includes a full game uh, additional digital content so it's going to be interesting to see what uh, that limited edition content is like uh, I haven't opened it yet as you can see it's still in the shrink wrap but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to pop this into the console and start the installation um, I'm just going to pause the video for a second while I do that Right, so I've dropped the game in. I just had a battle with the unpacking of the Xbox uh, game. I don't know if 
you viewers have ever noticed how difficult it is to get the shrink wrap off one of these new games. Um, I don't know why they don't make them easier to open, but there we go. Uh, so the game's in. Hopefully, I haven't got a console with a dodgy DVD drive and I'm going to be able to um, actually start installing the game. So let's have a look if it started installing already. It hasn't. I'm waiting for it to tell me that it's actually... Or, or, or see where I can actually identify that the game is in. I can't see anywhere here. Uh, here it is. Right, there we go. So that's the game. Um, I've clicked on it. It's installing. I'm going to stop this video uh, in interest of not making it too long. I'm going to be recording a separate video that shows the first 20 or 30 minutes of gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla in case anyone is interested in seeing that. Um, so I'm going to stop this video. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you for tuning in and your support. If you do like the video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you uh, want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of uh, future and upcoming videos. I'll be posting another video um, in the very, very near future to show the first sort of 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay. Um, hopefully I'll be catching you on that video. Thanks for watching. All the best. Bye bye.